Hello everyone. Uh, some people have contacted me and wanted to have more information about uh, ankle replacements. Um, so an ankle replacement, as we mentioned in the other video, is a procedure where people that have severe arthritis of the ankle undergo this uh, surgical procedure where the arthritis is cut out of the ankle and that part of the bone that is being eliminated is replaced with uh, metal implants and plastic. Let me show you on a model here. So this is the model of an ankle. And as you can see, this is the ankle seen from the front. What the ankle replacement is, is these three components. You'll see a gray component here, a gray component there, and then this white component uh, between the two. The gray components are made of um, metal or titanium, depending on uh, which company is making the anchor replacement, whereas the white component is made of a very specific type of plastic that is quite resistant to uh, wear and tear. And so the procedure uh, involves making an incision at the front of the ankle and then making, let's get this out, cutting out the diseased bone and then replacing it. First, you replace the top part, which is called the tibia, by inserting this metal component with a plastic piece attached. And then you replace the bottom part, which is called the talus. You tamp it in, tamp it in the bone, and you see this allows then the ankle to um, flex and extend. So the main thing that concerns patients and surgeons really uh, after an ankle replacement is how long will this ankle replacement last? And what are some of the potential risks associated with an ankle replacement? Uh, particularly in the short term, uh, the number one risk is infection. And there have been multiple uh, studies that have tried to identify which risk factors are um, particularly important in uh, predicting or predisposing uh, for an infection of an ankle replacement. First of all, why is an infection um, worrisome? A lot of the infections, especially when they affect the deeper structures of our body, so not necessarily just the skin, um, cannot just be treated with some antibiotics. Many times they require a surgical procedure where you have to go inside and possibly have to remove the um, ankle replacement or knee replacement or hip replacement, depending on which part of the body is being uh, operated on. And not always can that ankle replacement be put back uh, to the point that certain patients uh, may then require conversion to a fusion where you are blocking that joint uh, by trying to glue the bones together. So what are the um, risk factors that appear to be quite important uh, in determining the um, onset of an infection? For a long time, we thought that obesity was going to be uh, one of these risk factors. But again, multiple studies have actually suggested that it may not necessarily uh, be so. Uh, interestingly, uh, patients that are quite underweight seem to be a, an increased risk of an infection going on. Um, other possible uh, risk factors include uh, having a diagnosis of an inflammatory arthropathy, uh, such as rheumatoid arthritis, for instance. Uh, other potential risk factors are uh, previous ankle surgeries uh, and also having a peripheral vascular disease. Um, this is something that uh, we see a lot, for instance, in uh, smokers or diabetics. And it basically means that the small capillaries that bring blood to the ankle are um, not working well. And so not enough blood is getting to the bone. When not enough blood is getting to the bone, that means that not even the um, 
defense mechanisms of our body, the defense cells, are able to get to that bone. And therefore, there's a higher risk uh, of infection. There are other risk factors that may not necessarily be as important as we thought, uh, even though the studies are still a little controversial. Uh, these include smoking, uh, diabetes, especially the uncontrolled uh, diabetes, uh, chronic lung disease, um, and also uh, severe obesity. Other than infection, there are other uh, things that have to be kept in mind when considering the longevity of the ankle uh, replacement other than infection. So an ankle replacement, like any um, artificial joint, may not necessarily last forever. Um, the, the studies uh, suggest that the newer generations of ankle replacements uh, last for well over uh, 10 years, uh, but there are not many studies out there yet um, identifying how long uh, this ankle replacement may last uh, for the simple reason that a lot of the modern ankle replacements are only uh, a few years old, and so we just do not have that follow-up. Um, Obesity, again, for a long time was thought to be uh, a major risk factor for an earlier uh, failure of an ankle replacement. However, uh, more and more studies are being published suggesting that this is uh, not the case. There are other uh, potential risk factors that we may not be fully aware of that do affect the longevity of the ankle replacement. Um, there's still nothing uh, certain. Uh, the number one risk factor is certainly uh, having inserted the ankle replacement uh, in a suboptimal uh, position, as well as having other deformities of the foot, such as a significant flat foot deformity or particularly high arches, uh, that were not addressed at the time of the ankle replacement. Uh, again, these are all uh, hypotheses and they are not 100% um, certain. So the bottom line is we don't know exactly why uh, some patients um, live with an ankle replacement for many, many years and other patients fail after a few years. But it's important for patients to understand that uh, a surgical procedure like an ankle replacement uh, or any surgical procedure for that matter, it's never a slam dunk. There's always a possibility of complications and there's always a possibility of things not going the way we hope for. Does that mean that you should not have the procedure? Absolutely not. The vast majority of patients uh, do very well and are, and are extremely happy with the procedure. Uh, but as a surgeon, I believe that patients should be given as much as information uh, possible uh, to make an educated decision uh, and decide what kind of treatment they would like to undergo uh, for their end-stage ankle arthritis.